Hey! Hello! It's Melissa. I know. It's been like a long time. A really long time. Like, I don't even know how long, but long. 15 weeks? 14 weeks long? A couple months long? Whatever. Anyways, I decided I better hurry up and record a vlog because today is August 22nd and it is the last day I am going to be pregnant. Well, last full day I'm going to be pregnant because tomorrow morning I will be meeting my little man in person. We are having a C-section. Briefly, why before everybody goes, why are you having a C-section? Why are you planning? Because I have to. I have a fibroid <clears throat> that is on the back side of my uterus down by the cervix. And it's huge. It's like this huge. So it's not going to let my cervix dilate. So tomorrow we're having a C-section at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yay! So, um, let's see. I didn't write anything down, because why start now? <laughs> but, um, let's see here. I'm a little out of breath, because I've been running around all day, trying to get the last of everything done. Do you know how hard it is to find granny panties? Seriously. Granny panties are not easy to find. And the three that I did, well, well the one, I found some. But they were like three for $16. I was like... For something I'm going to force myself to wear for a week? No. So I ended up finding something else. But anyways, um, what's been going on since the last time I talked to you? Uh, I've, I've just gotten more pregnant. He's gotten bigger. He's grown. He's been healthy. Um, everything has gone well. I finally came out of work at a little low past 37 weeks. Uh, I just couldn't do it anymore. It's just my job's too physical, and I didn't want to put my patients in danger or put my pa put me in a situation where I wouldn't be able to give 100%. So I uh, I came out at like 37 weeks. So and since then I've just been trying to nest. Anyways, um, symptoms, symptoms. Um, probably the most notable symptom would be acid reflux, but she's had a lot of. He has a lot of hair, so <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe that's an old wife's tale. Either way, I have crazy acid reflux, and um, I tried to give them. I tried to give you treats to hush. Um, anyways, um, I take Xanax 150 twice a day, and then Tums here and there when I need it to supplement. Um, let's see what else. I mean, you know, tired. Um, my ankles and my feet just started swelling, like over the past couple of weeks. Um, so that hasn't been an issue up until recently. Sleeping is hard. He, um, a couple weeks ago, he he flipped from head down to head up, and he's like right here. So it's 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 hard. It's hard to find a comfortable position. And um, <clears throat> all that. Anyways, excuse me. Let me have quick water. Quick water. Um, <clears throat> but <clears throat> overall, I'm extremely, extremely blessed. And I'm telling you, it is literally almost 7 p.m. my time, <clears throat> Eastern Standard Eastern Standard Time. So 12 hours, 12, 15 hours. I'm supposed to have the surgery. We actually have to be there two hours prior to that. So literally in 12, in 14 hours? Something, I did something wrong. Anyways, really soon, I'm going to be at the hospital getting ready for all this. And I'll let you how that know how that goes. <clears throat> um, it has been such a long journey. And I can remember so many times when I wanted to give up. So many times when I asked God if, if he was sure, you know, that he was going to come through with this, and was I just, had I waited too many years to, to, to make this happen, and on and on and on, and after all of that, here I am, today, 39 weeks, and today's, what, Thursday, and five days, and 
he's he's wonderfully healthy. The last appointment he was seven pounds, and that was two weeks ago, and he's been gaining a little over a half a pound a week. So he stands to be right about eight pounds when he's born. So it's a great um it's a great uh it's a great weight. I'm I'm just I'm so blessed and I'm so overwhelmed, excuse me. Um, but I just, I, I, it's still surreal to me. Like, I can't believe it. I can't believe that I'm finally, finally, finally going to have my baby. Like, if you've been trying and, like, you know someone who's been trying and, but you believe God that you're going to, that you believe God that you're going to be blessed with a child, just don't give up because I'm living proof why you don't have to. It's so amazing. And I don't know if it's really going to even hit me until tomorrow when I hold him. But, wow. I'm a little scared of the surgery. Never had major surgery. <clears throat> um, so, it is what it is, right? <laughs> got to do what you got to do. And I'll, I know I'll make it. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I don't want to make this too crazy long. Where am I for the time? 6.20. Um, try to keep this under 10 minutes. Um, I mean, if you have any questions, definitely leave them below. Um, just to, to update <clears throat> whoever may not know, we, we did a donor egg IVF cycle. So we used his sperm and a 23-year-old's very viable and healthy eggs, which was my only issue, apparently, because it took just one try for that to work. Uh, we had tried everything else prior to that. did not work on our own. Um, not successfully, anyways. We... We lost a baby boy early on in pregnancy um, in March. Not last March, but the Mar Oh, last March. No, March before last. Anyways, on to happy stuff. Um, today I'm just going to try to finish up the whole nesting thing and getting everything done. I have my little thing written down of everything I'm supposed to do. Vlogging is one of them. Bird cages is one of them, which I'm going to try to get Corey to do and mop and clean fridge um i did that pack my bag haven't done that but i did get the stuff to do that today i did pay those three bills so i got most everything done on this thank god let me just show you something because it's so adorable and for those of you that know that i have parrots and love them um this oops is a little toucan so not necessarily the type of parrot most people have for pets, but it's so cute. <laughs> and I got um, an orange hat, too. It doesn't have to go with this, obviously, but... And then little orange socks. Um, I really heart this. I don't know if this is going to be his coming home outfit because we really couldn't find anything fancy or that we liked. Um, but he's not really wild. He likes this, but he's not. He thinks it should be something more dressy for the take home thing. I don't know. I have something that I got on consignment that I'm going to try to iron and see what happens. Either way, we're bringing home a healthy baby. And you know what? We could put him in that nice little whatever and he could have a major blowout two minutes later and he end up in some random onesie. Anyways, I want to hurry before Corey gets home. Uh,. I'm going to show you my belly, since I don't think I've done that very t very often, but uh, this is uh, 39 weeks. Tomorrow will be 39 weeks. Um, this is from the front. I'm not in the middle, but all right. This is from the front. Um, from the sides. Um, I'll show you my belly, I guess. This is... I can't believe I'm doing this. I have a lot of skin tags that I'm very self-conscious about, but they all showed up when, when I got pregnant. So anyways, that's from the side. That's from the front. This looks like I still have a belly button, really, but honestly, it's for me, it's super flat. Let's see. And that's from that side. Oh, 
I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so confused. Okay. Um. I don't like the lighting. But anyways, that is him. As you can tell. That is me. Whoa. These are just regular pants. I never really bought any pregnancy pants other than some $5 consignment ones. And, uh, sit back down. Ugh. Okay, so I know there's probably more, but I just wanted to do a quick vlog, vlog to say hello to everybody, to thank you for those of you that have kept up with me on Facebook and supported me this whole time, and for those of you that have already been blessed to have yours, Melissa and Todd. Uh, oh, what is her name? She always, she had the twin boys. Purple, dirty, four, twenty-four, something odd like that. Anyways, to everyone that's had them, other people that since then have, that have gotten their BFP, uh, Mickey, um, excuse me, and many others, just hang in there. Your time's coming, and if you're just got pregnant or you're partway there, like Helena, you're what, seventeen weeks, eighteen weeks? goes by fast don't blink because it really does it wasn't until like the last couple of weeks now that it started to slow mount down a bit for me and get um, difficult I really do look like crap anyways um, so I'm gonna stop talking now what I will do is I will try to do some type of vlogging from the um, hospital but that will be with my phone so it'll probably be real short and keep you updated. Anyways, this is me. This is a Bryce. We decided to name him Bryce, B-R-Y-C-E. And, um, okay. I did a vlog, finally, after many months. All right, love you guys. Thank you for your support. Talk to you later. Bye. Where do I stop it at?